Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enter a custom data validation tip for a cell or cells in Google Sheets. So we have this timesheet open here uh, with employee hours, and let's say we do not want them to enter anything past eight hours for a day, so they can enter zero if they want, but nothing greater than eight, so nine and above is no good, and obviously not negative numbers. So to do so, we want to highlight the cells that we want this to apply to. So that's going to be all of these cells here where they could enter hours. Then we're going to go to data, data validation. Then we need to add a rule. So the rule here for the criteria, this is going to vary depending on what you're setting up. But in my case, I want to go down to less than or equal to, and then put in eight. So equal to eight or anything less than eight. So now to have my custom text pop up, I need to click on this box here, show help text for a selected cell. Now it gives you a suggestion, so I could change this to something else. So I'm gonna say enter a number. Between zero and eight. So now the key here is I need to reject the input and I'll show you why. So if I click on done here, so I could go, you know, five here, zero here. What if I go nine? It just gives me a red mark here and it says invalid. Input must be less than or equal to eight. So that's not my custom message. That's like the generic one that comes with the rule. So let's go back and edit this rule. Go back to advanced, change this to reject the input. So that's going to stay there because it was already there. So I could delete it out of here. So now if I go nine again, press enter. So there's my custom pop-up here, enter a number between zero and eight. There was a problem. And then it just goes away and it doesn't let you put the nine. So that's the key there, is to make sure you have reject as your option here rather than show warning. So if you show warning, it's just gonna use the generic warning for that rule and not your custom one. So once again, just select the uh, cells you want it to apply to, data, data validation, make your rule, go down to advanced, check the box here, enter your custom message, and then make sure reject is the option you choose from this section here. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.